How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Going back to the town of Cheville this morning. So, yeah. Oh man, all right, it is 10 a.m. Not my favorite time of day. <laughs> uh, I definitely prefer sleeping until like noon or so. But yeah, uh, yeah, anyway. Oh, Chris Lynette saying, and you didn't wake up at 4.30 a.m. I went to bed at 4.30 a.m. <laughs> That's closer to reality. All right, let's see. Finally, I got some some letters. I made the mistake of clearing out my letters the other day. Apparently, I didn't clean out my inventory. Hmm. All right, well, let's put this stuff away first and foremost. And it is raining. It is, like, pouring. Dang. All right, so I should probably... Bring over another thing to customize. Am I right? I'm right. All right, let's go ahead and take this stuff so I can take this table. I have to put my ramen on the floor. Really, oh, really living the college student experience. All right, here we go. No one will mind, right? Okay, let's put some of this stuff away. Uh, so I do want to save this fossil for later, because, again, this is one I didn't have a spare of. Quasoid. Should probably put that in the gyroid dungeon. I feel like I already have one, though. But we'll set you there for now. Uh, other stuff. Um, maybe, like, the cat cap. Alright, that looks good. I can sell everything else. And, oh, darn it, that... Darn plant. Okay, one of you plants needs to go. I think it's gonna be this aloe plant. I don't think it can heal my my lack of space in this room. All right, we'll set this. Not come on. I wasn't even looking over there. I wasn't even. What? All right, there we go. So. Does that look okay? I mean, it's still pretty cramped, but at least I can get by. Alright, let's go ahead and set a case salsa in here. Hopefully it's some habanero salsa. Or some ghost pepper salsa. I actually like that stuff. Uh, I don't want this playing, though. Like, we have... KK Groove. I mean, you know, that's just... It's Warder's Jam. It's just how it goes, man. It's just how it goes. All right, let's see. Olaf. I still can't believe he gave me his picture. It's just so bizarre. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Warder, perfect timing. If you're seeing Soleil today, could you deliver something to her for me? Sure, why not? Both of them are good buddies of mine. Alright. I, I got you covered, don't worry. So, it is nearly the end of the month. I should probably take a look at what bugs I need to get. And what fish I need to get and anything like that. I don't think there's anything that important. There's also Sahara there, but she's not that important right now. I'll worry about her later. Uh, ah! Darn it, these aren't the flowers I needed! And it's raining, so that'll put a damper on any of my plans to get the flowers I really want. More blue roses. It's such a struggle. Like, I already have one blue rose, but getting that second one is being... Well, I won't say just as painful. But definitely, uh... Definitely a little bit unfortunate here. Alright, was that Tutu? It was. Hi, Tutu! How are you doing? I want to get your picture eventually. Golden Stag? Well, there's an opportunity to get her picture, at least. 
I got a golden stag with your name on it. Jeez. All right, let's... Oh, let's deliver this to Soleil really fast. Okay, I got something for you. From Olaf, so I don't know how much I would trust it, but, you know. <laughs> uh, all right, uh... A shirt! Pep Squad T. Are you serious? Why? Why a Pep Squad T? Do I look peppy? I haven't even had my coffee this morning. Although I drink decaf, so it shouldn't really matter, but still, it's the principle of it all. Alright, let's see. Golden Stag. I need to go get more Horned Hercules at some point. Alright, let's see. Bones, he's up there. Where did Tutu run off to? Oh, we got someone in the tent. Who is chilling over here? No one that I can actually... Oh my gosh, it's Pietro! <laughs> That's so funny. Hey there, I'm visiting town. I'm Pietro. I'm just enjoying my camping trip. Honk, honk! Oh my gosh, Rainbow Ram. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and do this. Oh my gosh. Uh, no, that's fine. I know the rules. Don't worry. It's pretty straightforward. Juicy Apple TV. Oh, because a normal Apple TV just is not good enough. You need to get the, the juicy model of Apple TV. Uh, I won't buy it. Okay, a pickle jar. No thank you, I don't need a pickle jar. A portable toilet? Oh, heck no! You don't buy a used portable toilet, alright? A kitty wall. I don't want the kitty wall. I already have that. Alright, well... An astro chair for 4,000 bucks. I guess that's alright. I mean, it's expensive, but I don't think I have the astro chair. All right, whatever. That guy. That guy. Okay, so... Let's see. Bones! What have you got to say, buddy? I'm so bummed out. So they made fun of me because I say tch all the time. She says it too. What? She said that tch sounds weird and lame. Wow. Okay, you know what? I got the solution for you. Just have to say it with more emphasis. Yes. There. <laughs> oh, bones. Alright, let's see. That's just so it doesn't lose any happiness or anything with him. Alright, Tutu. Here, I've got you your golden stag. Shower me with praise. <laughs> yeah, it was really hard to catch. So hard to catch. A striped sofa. Mm-hmm. Alright, well, I guess that's alright. Striped stuff does look kind of cool. So speaking of not having my coffee, I think I should go get some. Actually, hold on. Whoa! Jedi Aster just checked my morning prices and they are 554 bells for turnips this morning. Dang! Nice! Too bad there's only a little bit of time left. Mornings. Ugh. That's crazy. Alright, I'm just curious what mine are. Mine are definitely roller coaster. Yeah, 63 bells. That's not gonna help anyone. Okay, let's sell off. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, not that. Hold on there, partner. Uh, let's sell off some of this junk I've been picking up. Okay, there we go. So. Oh, this looks cool at least. Golden wall torch. I like it. 
Alright, pal. I want you to cowify my whatever this is, sleek table. Yes. Okay, make it a cow. Like, I don't really even know if I like this look, but I'll make it work. For science! For science. Okay, there we go. Uh, next up, I should probably go to... Well, have Gracie over to my house. Not Gracie! I always get them mixed up. Have Sahara over to my house. That would be a good thing. Another gyroid. A tutoid. Hey, I already have one of those, I think. Alright, let's see. Can I get lucky with a gem rock? Please? No! Not today! Hmm, I guess I should let Olaf know I delivered the thing. Alright, hand it over. <laughs> she thought I could do origami. Well, I can't deny that I'm a man of many talents. <laughs> right? Uh-huh. Aren't you full of yourself? He really is, though. That Olaf. That guy! Alright, so... Oh, another Jacob's Ladder. We need to move this in a more... Or over to a more... Proper location. It can't be by Olaf's house. No, he'd just crush it. Because that's what he does. Well, that's what he used to do. I think that he might have kind of had a change of heart or something. Like, he doesn't seem so bad anymore. Shouldn't hold my breath. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the, the Jacob's Ladder down here. Because there are, of course, rumors that it can help speed up hybrid breeding and I don't know if it's true or not I didn't have one for my blue rose but hey it doesn't hurt and yeah I'm watering flowers in the rain it's called efficiency <laughs> uh yeah anyway No, very Zen Cat. Unfortunately, those are not new Blue Roses. Those are the ones that I grew about a week ago. And I've been trying to get a second one, so then I can breed those things like crazy. But, regrettably, I only still have the one. Once you get the second one, like, it's all, all set from there. Uh, yeah, I got room. Yo, Sahara! Not Gracie, Sahara. Let's go to my house. All right, let's see. What are you going to do? What are you going to do to my beautiful house? I can only worry about this. Hmm. All right, what? What have you done? <laughs> That's what I worry about. Okay, get get out of my way. Let's see the damage. All right, we have. Oh. Huh. Wow. I really like this floor. 
And actually, this, uh, this wall isn't too bad. This wall would be amazing for the gyroid dungeon. Ah, <laughs> uh, I like it. But the floor is amazing. Oh, okay, so this is a good question from Max LP Queen. I have a question. If I want a new path design and I replace it over the one I currently have, will it change all my path designs to the new one? Or will I have to put down all those paths again? So it should change it to the new one. In fact, let's go ahead and do a test really fast. Because I know I've done this before, but that's at least with replacing patterns from, let's say, the sewing machine or something. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a very, very scientific test. And that is taking this. We're going to make a copy of it just so I'll always have it. Okay, so let's say I wanted to swap out every single uh, tile in my town that is the, you know, the, the stone tile there. But let's make it these benched in bricks instead. So I think if I just do swap, I think that'll change it around everywhere. No. Swap. Now, if you were to redesign it, that would work. Another option is, let's go to the clothing store. Because I think that would work. Basically, as long as it's, like, replaced. If you swap it, it doesn't seem to do that. But if you're going to... Let's say the sewing machine or something. Like, I know for a fact I've done that before. I couldn't remember if you could do it straight from the, uh, the menu there. Alright, let's see. So what we'll do is we'll take the Cheville flag and want it. That's okay. And before I lose all my paths. So it's this one that is the path one. So, all of the paths should now be the Cheville flag. Hopefully. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. It's gonna look really weird. <laughs> uh... Yeah, there we go! Cheville pride, everyone! All right, so that's how that works. Now I did hear from Nightwolf 1998 that you have to replace it and reload the area. So let's do it this way, actually. Let's just copy. Wait, yeah, we wanna, you know what? I'm gonna make a backup. Just in case. There we go. There, that's what you need to do. You need to copy it onto the thing. Because if you swap it, it just rearranges it. But yeah, okay, problem solved. That's what it is. Cool. I never even looked at the gifts. I'm so bad. All right, so from Red's Gallery, got that painting. All right. From your mom. Dear sweet Warder, I saw your bustling town in a dreamscape. It gave me peace of mind as a parent, but was it real? Is this the real life? I don't know. Let's just see. We got an astro bed. Mm, maybe it's trying to tell me something. And from Mira. Furniture Hunter Warder, I didn't peg you as a maniac collector. Boy, was I wrong. I wouldn't feel at home in a place like that. How are you not afraid of breaking stuff? <laughs> uh, take this if you want from Surprise Mira. All right, let's see. A giant Dharma! Shut up and take my Dharma! Wow, all right. It's fine. Okay, so we've conducted some tests in the name of science. Glorious. So, let's see. What don't I need here? I need a lot of these things. All right, let's go back to... Actually, let's go donate these fossils really fast. They are clogging up room in my inventory. So, we gotta do that. I'm away. I'm away. 
Wake up, Lathers! I know you probably just went to bed a few hours ago, but... Hey, I did too. <laughs> I'm up and at him, so come on. Get with the program. Alright. Assess these bad boys. Ooh, we got something. We got a hit! Alright, what... I end up getting... Let me get my... Oh, do I not have it open anymore? What? Why do I always close the one window I need? Oh, no, no, it's on my other window. There we go. Okay, so... There aren't that many more things I even need to give. Alright, let's make a donation. What? Oh man, I already have that painting. Ooh, a T-Rex tail. That's really good. Because that completes the T-Rex. Alright, there we go. Finally! Alright, so it looks like I already had that painting once again. Gosh darn it. So let's just see what fossils we got here. Mammoth skull. Do I need... Actually, yeah, I can make a little mini mammoth now. Cool. Um, Diplo tail. I actually needed that. I need one more piece for a full Diplo. And a T-Rex skull, which I believe I have, like, a bunch of already. Yeah, I got two of those already, so we don't need that. Alright, well, this puts me in an awkward position here. Hmm. I guess I'm going to need to go back to my house! I also want to see what the, the, whatchamacallit's all about, the floor. Because I like that floor. I kind of want to put it in one of these rooms. Like, I think it'd look really nice in the back room. And then the other's, like, perfect for a basement. Slash gyroid dungeon. Alright. What have we got? Like, I don't actually even recognize this floor. That's the problem. So what is it? It's office flooring. Really? Man, it looks so... so much better than that. Okay, and what did I get? I got a... Yeah, mammoth skull. I'm gonna need to track that down at some point. Whoa! 1500 bits from Jedi Aster! Sharing that turnip mafia wealth. <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits! Healing yourself from the bit boss, not letting anyone snipe that position from you. Thank you so much for the bits. I really appreciate it. Alright, let's set this stuff away. I'm already refurbishing something, so I can't take the thing, put it where I want to. Uh, basic painting. What, well, we're gonna put this here. Someone might need it someday. Alright, office flooring. Now, I don't actually know which room this will look good in, because I don't have a lot of rooms at the moment. Uh, I mean, there's this one, but I feel like that would be kind of underwhelming by comparison. Yeah, it looks so plain. Like, I really like that floor. Ooh, actually. Uh, not quite what I had in mind. Wait, what is it called? Basement wall. Oh, no wonder it looked good in a basement. Okay, we gotta put this wall torch thing up, right? That thing looks sweet. Okay, I need, like, a golden wall or something, right? Put that above the king! I feel like I should do a little bit of reorganizing. In here. 
getting quite messy. Ooh, I should set up the giant Dharma, though. Yeah. Actually, I have a better idea. Well, actually, let's put this down, because this will make my, my next plan a little easier. Really? Right there? Dude, what if I put the Dharma inside of the cannon? Would that work? That'd be great. Okay, so we're going to... Oh, I guess there's room over there. I don't really want the stepladder anymore. So we're going to put the Dharma back there. Um... I don't really want the stepladder. So, very Zen Cat asking, why not use that wall in the gyroid dungeon? I'm tempted. Here's the problem. Here's kind of why I think I don't want to do that. Because right now, it's got this lovely kind of bug theme to it. And it's nice. Like, I like this. But I guess it doesn't really scream gyroid dungeon now, does it? Whereas this... That screams gyroid dungeon. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Alright, I like that better than the bugs. Like, that's great with all these gyroids. So where's some floor that I can use? Slate flooring I think would look good. Um... We need something... Dank. That's what we need. Wait, what do we got here? Fruit panel, cabin rug. What are these? Dotted rug, modern wood flooring. Put that office flooring away for later. Butterfly wall. We should put this somewhere too. I like this idea. All right, let's set this down. Gyroid dungeon! Okay, this is a very, very solid gyroid dungeon, I have to say. I like it. Okay, that that is really good. Even though it's not the bug theme that I kind of wanted to go with, like, that screams dungeon. Or, as we say in Terraria, screams echo from the dungeon. <laughs> oh, alright, alright. So that's good. Definitely made that look a lot nicer. Change is good. Yeah, it, it can be good. I think that's... I think it's important. Mix it up. Keep joking, it's a gyroid dungeon, but it doesn't really look like one. Now it does! We just need to get, like, a better table. I should probably swap out that weird table I have upstairs with the robo-table. Bring that one upstairs. Bring the, uh, the creepy table downstairs. That looked pretty good. Okay, I need to do some shopping. I gotta see what's for sale today. Because I haven't done that yet. Maybe, just maybe I'll get my golden axe. I doubt it. But maybe. Worth a shot, right? Worth a shot. Goldie! What are you doing here? Uh, ooh. I do like this stereo a lot. The gold stereo. Pretty much the gold standard in stereo technology. Space KK. Do I have this? I think I have it. I'm pretty sure I have that. Uh, let's see. Orpheus saying, don't know if you answered this yet, but how was Persona 5 since you beat it last night? It was so long. It was like ridiculously long. It was pretty good. I still prefer four, but it was just 
Oh my gosh, it took an eternity. Like, I think that's actually legitimately one of my biggest complaints. <laughs> Ugh, it's the longest game I've ever played. That isn't, like, open-ended or something. And even open-ended games, like Zelda and Skyrim. I both beat in less time. Like, substantially less. Hey, now, I'm not gonna call out names, but don't say games suck when someone's talking about a game that they invested time in. That's just negative. We don't need that kind of negativity. Um, alright, let's see. So... Let's go get this tree sapling. And a few of these bushes. All right, there we go. Tetris Master asking, do you know your final playtime? It was 113 hours and 24 minutes. It was ridiculous. For contrast, Persona 4 Golden was like, I think 68 hours, maybe 75. It was like other stuff, but it was, it was just crazy. All right, let's see. Moldy shirt. Oh, I want to get... No, I, t <laughs> I wanted to give it to Olaf, but I don't know. Concierge shirt. I don't think I have this. All right, BBT. Oh, BB. Whoa, black skirt. I gotta get this. For reasons! And some blue boxing shorts. These will look nice for blue things. Uh, oh, I still have plenty of room. Nice! Alright, I don't believe I have this thing. The diving mask. Alright, I want to try this thing on. Hello! <laughs> I'm buying it. I'm gonna stick with this today. <laughs> can barely see. Dang, Jedi Astro put 200 hours so far in Persona 5. That's insane. I can believe it, though. <sighs> oh, gosh darn it. Why am I so tired? Oh, I know why. Went to bed late. Not even like super late. It was like normal time, like four-ish. <laughs> so I got like five hours of sleep. Something. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and set down this bush right there. Now, is this area over here? If I recall, this is, like, all set, right? Oh, no, 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 we can... Oh! Maybe I wasn't going to have anything in the corner. Hmm... Gotta think about this, actually. Yeah, actually, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Maybe I should have placed that here and thinking about it. That's what I was going to do. Gosh darn it, I need to get rid of this tree. So I want to have a tree right here. And I want to have the bushes, like, have a break, then tree, then break, then bush. And have it go down here. So then it'll reset the number I need. Although, actually, hold on a second. That might not even be necessary. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, oh, I'm gonna be one bush off. 
Unless I don't set a bush right here. Because you can connect up to 12 of them in a row, if I'm not mistaken. So that would mean... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 right here. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So then there wouldn't be one right here. That's fine. Okay, so that'll, that'll work out swimmingly, I have to say. So we'll chop down the tree in a little bit, but I can go ahead and get this thing going. That'll look nice. So how will it work over here? Actually, I'll probably stop it right here so then I have access to the rock. Reset it down this way. That looks like it'll be about 12. So, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Because I don't even think I can place them next to the... The, uh rocks anyway. I think they die. Uh, what was I about to do? There was something else I feel like I was about to do. Remember what, though? Oh, I know what. I need to check my perfect town status. See if I can get my lovely golden watering can. When did I get perfect status? I feel like that was a little bit ago. Olaf, what's going on? What? <laughs> hey, Warder, didn't you tell me you want to get your hands on a cactus? That sounds not all that great, really. I don't want to get my hands on a cactus because it's all prickly and everything. Um, I mean, at least he knows my style, so that's good. Oh, okay, so Leo's are saying I got it on day... 50, so I still have like five more days to go For maybe four I don't I don't know if it counts the first day or not Thousand Kappa bits and eh, 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 from Jedi Aster. Thank you so much for the bits Really appreciate that It's a lot of bits this morning dang Okay, so we're still a little bit off from the one, but that's okay. Got we'll, we'll get it in a few days. Man, another thousand bits. <laughs> that's just crazy. I think we gotta open up a pack. I think it's it's celebration time. All right. Uh, you know what? No, I don't want to do it in the rain. Opening packs in the rain. Get soggy cards all over the place. Jeez, there's all those bugs in the rain. Okay, so let's go over here. <laughs> I look so funny. Let's get a pack opened. Do -do -do. Okay, the infamous pack cam, which has actually worked out pretty well, I have to say, all things considered. Oh, uh, do we have a series four? We do. All right, we're gonna open up this this lovely pack. All right. Uh, what am I wearing in real life? A shirt. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Mm hmm. Almost? Oh, come on. Do it the good way, please. I hate how they, like, try to force their way of opening packs on you. It should just open up right in the middle. There we go. Perfect. Almost perfect. Okay. Da-da-da. Pack cam! Let me move the mouse somewhere. I'm gonna be like, where do I put my mouse? All right, so we've got Nibbles! Watermelon shirt, that's great. We've got Static! He's always a cool one. I wouldn't mind Static in my town, actually. We got Apple. Ah! We got Rocco. And we got Pinky! Oh, hey! I remember Pinky from Benchton. That's great, and we got Phineas. Very cool. All right, so Nibbles, 
Static. Apple. Rocco. Pinky. And Phineas. Got a cool pack. I like it. Ah, I remember where I put it. <laughs> All right. I think we need to bring... Let's bring... Let's bring Pinky over. I need some Meow coupons. That's what I need. All right, where's my little hockey puck thing? Pinky! Huh. Her birthday's on 9-9. It's really funny. Um... It's 9-9 regardless of which date format you use. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we need this wish lamp thing, right? There we go. Hey, pal. Okay. Pinky. Come to my world. <laughs> wow, don't get all angry. All right, I want you to give me something, please. A vintage camera. Well, not exactly what I had in mind, but all right, thanks. Mostly I just want these meow coupons. All right, see ya. Uh, okay, so... Let's take a look at the chat. Iris1 saying, Hi Marilyn, finally have time to watch Animal Crossing. So great. Well, awesome. Alex plays G saying, Marilyn, on my Animal Crossing New Leaf, welcome amiibo. I have Pinky. Is she rare or not? I don't think she's like rare or anything, but she's kind of neat. I had her in my town of Cheville. Or no, Benchton. Benchton, I'm sorry. And like, it always brings back memories whenever I see any of my old villagers. So that's why I get excited over her. Um, let's see. My poor inventory. How does this vintage camera look? What? Can't even set it down there. Is this thing, like, big? Oh, wow. Taking lots of selfies! <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't really need that. Okay, so let's head on over to the campgrounds. Gotta take a look at that. And then there was something I wanted to do. I need to investigate. Because something has been really racking my brain with the whole thing. I don't want to... don't want to draw out, you know, suspicion. But I'm still trying to figure out this whole Purple Rose Perpetrator thing. And there are three suspects, well, three or four, really, that I can think of that might be behind it. And I hate to say it, but one of them is my mom. And that's not good. What is, what is this? Operating table? No. All right, I don't need a bird's nest either. Okay, so... I need to rule this out as a possibility because we've got, um, we've got my mom as a possibility. We've got the person in the red tracksuit that I saw running around suspiciously. We've got, um, I think who else? Like, there was someone who is kind of new, not overly new, but. Just like some timing things. It was around the time of someone or another. So I don't know, maybe we'll check them out too. And then there was like one other person. Wait, this isn't where I wanna go. I wanna go to the dream suite. So we're gonna start by kinda taking a look at my mom. I wanna rule her out as a possibility. She's new, well, somewhat new to the game. Not actually a member of the Turnip Mafia, but I did let her into my town. Because I had, um... I had good turnip prices. 
then she bought turnips because I've been telling her all that, but maybe, just maybe, she betrayed me. That'd be bad. I don't want to suspect her, but let's go ahead and go check out her town. Okay, let's see. So, we're going to search for one. I happen to remember her town name, so we're going to look by town name. Alright, the town name is... Luau. There we go, there's only one Luau. Alright. So, what we're looking for right now, we're looking for... Motive, I guess. Right now we have some motive, because, again, she, uh, you know, sort of new to the game. But, the big clue is the purple roses. So we gotta see if by some chance they're there. Alright, so it's nighttime out. Let's see. Town of Luau. So I should probably go get the dream address for this, just so we have it on the layout. Uh, let's see, that would be over here. Whoops. Okay. The so dream address for Luau is this. Let me go ahead and update the, the sheet with that. Luau, uh, 4F000081CF03. Alright, there we go. So, let's investigate the town of Luau and see if anything's suspicious. Now, if we see one or two purple roses, that may indicate... Well, it might indicate that they were taken. Or it could indicate that... She's cultivated them herself, which is possible. Oh, I like the flowers along the river. It's kind of nice. Lovely path. Okay, let's see. Naomi's house. I remember her from... Benchton. Diana! The sassy deer. Uh, if I had a somewhat plumeria, I'd suppose... I suppose I'd say she's a new face. Yep, new face... Just seems fitting. Let's probably throw in my darling there. Probably. So, I'm seeing a lack of something. A lack of purple roses. Alright, so... Aloha, everyone! Welcome! So, it... Definitely doesn't look like... I saw her. Maybe I did. I don't know. Um... Like, I probably saw her at some point. But I didn't see her take anything. Hmm. <laughs> There's like a yield sign or caution sign or something over here. Uh, let's see. Another bench dinner. Alright, let's see. So, I don't see any purple roses. That seems highly suspicious. So, if she doesn't have any purple roses, that does mean there's motive for her to take mine. Phoebe! She's so fiery. Why'd she say old bear, though? I like her house. All right, so that's not good. Got to get to the bottom of this. Because right now, without there being purple roses around... Oh, it's Snake? Snake! <laughs> What's up, Snake? Okay, let's see. What else do we have around here? Oh, also, I think, if I'm not mistaken... 
can swipe this pattern. Alright, let's... Let's go ahead and take one, because I've kind of made mistakes here and there. Let's get rid of this one. Yeah, see, look at this lovely purple path. Alright, there we go. Um, let's see. Alex plays G asking, I'm playing Animal Crossing, just got a magic lamp. What does that do? You can use that with amiibo or amiibo cards, and you can, like, summon them either to move in if they're normal characters, or you can get, like, accessories and stuff or items when you send them in. That's pretty neat. I've done it a few times throughout my series. I actually just did it earlier today. And you get meow coupons for it, too, so it's good to do that every day if you can. But if you're on an old 3DS and you don't have the, uh, the hockey puck amiibo reader thing, you aren't really going to be able to do anything with it. If you have a new 3DS, then it'll work. Okay, so I don't see any purple roses. This is this is bad. Um, let's see. So that that's concerning. Doesn't really uh doesn't really help prove her innocence. Hmm. Oh, there's a good question from Leozer. When was this town last updated? Let's see what time it is. Does it show? It shows if you just stand here long enough. Or maybe not. I could have sworn it did, though. Hmm. Hold up. That person. Hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's the red tracksuit. Okay, this is <laughs> this is creepy now. I know I saw someone with a red tracksuit, walking around, all suspicious, by the fossil. In fact, it was over here in my town. I have this image from yesterday. They were walking around in that area. Now, this isn't a screenshot of that person, obviously, but it, they were walking around by that money bag and by that fossil. They didn't take anything, but... Oh, that's so weird. So, does that solve that mystery? Oh man, I don't see any purple roses. That's a good point. Eon EV123 saying you should check the beach for flower growth. I should. And also, Sky Shirokuma just subscribed for the second month in a row with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for the big service. Okay, now this is definitely interesting. Wait, what is this? Aha! I found my lost item! Guilty is charged! Guilty as charged. Um, no, no. Ugh. All right, so it definitely appears that there are purple roses here right by the lost item. So yeah, um, that is very suspicious. But there's also all these other purple roses. Now, all right. Hold on a second. I don't want to suspect her. We we got to rule her out somehow. So, all right. There's a shark over there. Oh my gosh. I don't feel safe over here. So, all right. 
there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight purple roses, right? Okay, so two purple roses were taken from Cheville. If she set down both of these roses, and if she bred them every single day, she'd have to get a purple rose every day. Hmm. Or maybe not. Maybe she could have bred two, set down one more, put them together, got maybe two more off of each of them, yeah, these could multiply rather quickly. Because not one purple rose is taken, but two. Hmm. So, there's not an abundance of purple roses here. Which leads me to suspect maybe, just maybe, it is possible. Like, the person in the red tracksuit! That's gotta be! That's gotta be. Who is this? I gotta talk to this person. Hopefully they don't get suspicious. Um, let's see. Where did that person go? Okay. Thanks. It's so weird. Okay, so I, I hate to say it, but I don't think this really proves that you're innocent, dear mom. Hmm. Hmm, the plot thickens. Well, we're gonna have to get to the bottom of this. Alright, let's get out of here. Wait, this isn't how I get out of here. Huh. Alright, it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. We gotta get back to the real world here. It's way too suspicious. Puddles! Alright, let's get out of here. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, wake me up. Okay. So... Does that draw any conclusions? I hate to say it, but it really doesn't. It doesn't prove anything, but it does at least show motive. And that is really important to look at. All right, so I feel refreshed. Now, there were a few other people. I want to investigate one of them. Now, this person uh, apparently was a witness, but I don't know. I'm kind of having my suspicions. Maybe, just maybe, trying to cover their own tracks. So, let's go ahead and... Um... Let's see, where did this person go? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so. We're going to be investigating someone. Again, just to kind of prove the point here. Or at least do investigative research. But again, a lot of it depends on when the town was updated, too. Because if it wasn't updated recently, we got a problem. So, let's go ahead and search into someone's town. We're going to be going to the town of Neilboro. Because I remember seeing someone join with a an eight-letter town name. And this person was 
being quite cooperative with the investigation. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. I'd like to rule Nightwolf 1998 out, of course. But, there is always that possibility. Okay, so here we go. Oh, you're watching. I, I don't mean to accuse you, but it is a little suspicious. I don't know. I don't know. If I start to see some, uh, a single purple rose or two purple roses, maybe some trouble. All right, so. Oh, I like the path. All right, I need to get the dream address. Actually, that's a really neat looking path. Uh, where is... Where is me? Okay, let's get this right here. So, we're going to... I'll borrow... Alright. So, let's see. Sky Shirokuma saying, Oh, Nightwolf helped me with signatures once. Uh-huh. Well, cafe's built. It's a good sign. Because remember, it's not just, uh... Not just the other stuff. Actually, when was this updated? Sounds like a while ago. July 8th. Hmm. Well, that doesn't really offer any conclusions. Unfortunately. Other than the suspicious lack of purple roses in this patch. So perhaps Nightwolf was having difficulty cultivating some on his own. And then saw the opportunity to take some. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything to the contrary of that. We're basing this solely off of... His word right now. Alright, let's see. Can we find anything else around here? Alright, let's talk to the local residents, even though it's a, a dream, of course. Robert! Mm hmm. Uh, let's see. Quailon asking Hi, Marilyn, do you stream Terraria? I don't currently, but I kind of would like to. I just need to figure out when and how. But it's something that I. Would be interested in. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything down by the beach? Oh, big bug. Hmm, so I'm not seeing any... Any purple rose cultivation. I see a lot of attempts down here at a purple rose. I see orange roses. That definitely makes me a little suspicious. Because remember, orange roses were... Placed instead of the purple roses. This is suspicious. This is actually quite suspicious. Alright, let's see. The only downside is this person doesn't look familiar. Like the look, at least. Although, again, this is like a while ago. So, it's really hard to say. It's Shari. Okay, that's suspicious for sure. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. You know, there's all these lovely, beautiful Jacob's Ladders. All these roses. All the white roses on the beach. But, not a single purple rose. And this was confirmed to be before the whole incident. Quite a bit before. By about a week. Or two weeks, actually. So it is possible that the purple roses may have been cultivated. However, I do have my suspicions. Because, as you can see, there are no purple roses here. So, that is rather suspicious. I don't know, and this person, Nightwolf 1998, was kind of, uh, kind of, you know, helping out perhaps a little too much with the investigation. So, I, I don't know. We'll have to see about that. We need further investigation into this. Hmm. All right, I know what we can do to investigate. Because remember, another thing that was taken was the money. So, 
Just how prominent of a member of the Turnip Mafia are you? Let's take a look. Oh, well, you certainly have enough to build the remodel here. The house definitely looks like fully paid off, so I don't really think money is an issue. That's the, the thing, I guess, in his defense is it looks like there's tons of money already invested in here, and that was from a while ago. So, although this is suspiciously bare, that's a cool pattern. I like that. A moon bed. Mmm. Suspicious. Oh, look at all of these flowers. I wonder if these are stolen too. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I don't see any purple roses here. Let's see a whole bunch of others. Um. Mmm. Anything over here? Well, that's a lot of... That one set. What is it, the pave one? Hmm. So, yeah, this is definitely also very suspicious. It doesn't really draw any conclusions. Like, clearly, Nightwolf has been playing for a while to have all this stuff... And no real shortage of money, either, because a lot of these rooms are upgraded. So, yeah, that's kind of suspicious. But it does sort of say there's less of a motive to take the money. More of a motive to take the flowers. Unless they were two separate incidents! That's another possibility that I hadn't even considered. I know that Bacon Weasel talked about that the other night. And if they were actually two separate incidents and two separate crimes, or at least two separate criminals, perhaps one of them took the roses and one of them took the money. So what if it was my mom that took the money and Nightwolf that took the roses? Hmm, that is also a possibility. And there's a police station right here. Maybe he bribed the cops. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Alright, so that settles that. Well, not really. It's not conclusive at the moment. Okay, let's go ahead and leave. Oh, Nightwolf's saying, I just updated my dream, by the way. Yeah, to hide all your stuff or to show all the roses that you made. Very suspicious trying to cover your tracks. <laughs> well, I, I'll settle with what I see there. Um, okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and look into one more person that I might be just a little bit suspicious about that I told to sleep in late today. All right. You know what they say, keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. Wait, this isn't what I want. All right, let's go to one more place. Hmm. So this was someone I didn't want to bring up in the last uh, investigation, for obvious reasons. All right, but we do need to rule this out. We need to go to... Jazuto. Just to see if Bacon Weasel himself is behind it. Obviously, he'd have a lot to gain if that were the case. And being the investigator, he'd be able to throw everyone's tracks off. So I need to make sure that there's no funny business here. 
We gotta rule him out. Okay, well, at least it's daytime here. Alright, so... I see a whole bunch of white roses. But no purple roses. You know what that means! You know what that means. I see some purple things here. Oh, hi. Thanks. Uh-huh, you're welcome. Hmm. There are a lot of flowers here. We're bound to find some purple roses, right? 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 Oh my gosh! It's Tia! Alright. Uh-oh. I don't see any purple roses. Let's take a look inside the house. There is this possibility. Like, again, remember, there's two things that stood to benefit from this whole, this whole theft wave. That was the... Oh, wow, I actually like the refurbished... With the gem, but with a different seat. That's actually really cool. So this... It looks nice. I'll give it that. But it's not fully done. It doesn't have the room in the back. This room is still pretty tiny. Hmm. This is rather suspicious. We're gonna need to find some purple roses. Otherwise, there may be a problem. Because this house isn't fully upgraded, which means, you know, money is a little tight. Seeing the whole possibility of all the tips on the ground and then having the opportunity to cover it up. Just saying. That's very suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. So, when was this last updated? Does it happen to say anywhere? Should I just, like, wait around for a moment? Um... Maybe it's... Oh, no, I know what it is. I know what it is. It's when you check the dream address. Which I should do. Let me go ahead and do that. So, this was... Also 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay, so that's a while ago. So it is still possible that, you know, situations may have changed since then. But that is rather suspicious. And it does show motive. Again, it's the same situation with Nightwolf. What if they were in on it together? Hmm, probably not. Alright. Well, let's see if I can find any of the purple roses. Again, there's so many different flowers in here that it's actually kind of suspicious that there aren't purple roses so far. You'd think with all these flowers, they'd be everywhere. But that seems to be the one type of flower I do not see here. Anywhere. Hmm. And there's a bunch of roses here. There's all these white roses, so clearly an effort was made. You wouldn't think it'd take that long to get purple roses, but maybe, just maybe... Barrel. Maybe, just maybe... Bacon Weasel got tired of waiting for the bacon to grow. Decided to snatch it up himself. Hmm. Very suspicious. 
Yeah, look at all of these. There's like every single flower here other than black roses and purple roses and obviously like blue roses. There's a lot of orange roses. Look at that. I mean, of course, you know, I could see Bacon Weasel wanting to have orange roses. And that was what the purple roses swapped out for. Okay, there's even black roses. All right, so let's recap here. The primary person investigating this case doesn't have a maxed out house, has black roses, pink roses, orange roses, all cultivating here, but with no purple roses. Not a single one. And this is from a little bit ago, but still, that pattern does persist. There's both the motive and... Well, actually, there's the motive and the, uh, the intent. Like, you know, I could definitely see that. Like, he has the ability to cover his tracks. Place the blame on someone else. Hmm. The plot thickens. There is another interesting development to this. You can't hold him, you know, accountable for it, but he's not actually a Twitch subscriber. Technically. He's a patron, which, you know, it's at least as much help. But that's, uh, that is an interesting case, too. Hmm. In fact, that's actually rather symbolic because on the Discord, they're given orange as opposed to purple. Maybe he wanted to steal the purple. He's jealous of all the Twitch subscribers or something. I don't know. It's weird. It's definitely weird. That's quite alarming, really. Hmm. Suspicious. You'll have to check out the dream address for yourself and kind of poke around and see. Maybe maybe there's more to it, but that's definitely uh definitely an option. So, I don't know. We're going to have to we're going to have to do this. All right. So, let's see. 17 times by visitors. That's actually a fair amount. Well, I gotta get back to the real world, but this is definitely an interesting development. It's a classic plot twist. Oh, man. It could be any of them. It could be my own mom. It could be, you know, one of the key witnesses. It could be the investigator himself. They all have motive. Just in different ways. Will we find the purple rose perpetrator? We've got to find this purple rose perpetrator. I might have to keep a, an extra eye on Bacon Weasel during something. We've got plans. That'll be tomorrow. We've got plans, so hopefully you'll tune in for that. Hopefully we'll figure out who is responsible. But yeah, anyway, that's going to do it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Animal Crossing New Leaf uh, Adventures in Cheville. Yeah. Anyway, see you next time, everyone. Woo!